It's like 6.30, I'm so tired, but the father of the house wanted me out when he went to work, which I totally respect. You can't have the red beard, beard of cyclist dude, stay with the full family in the house. I get it. I'm gonna go hit up the motel in town, get some Wi-Fi. So grateful and so appreciative to this family. Seth, if you're watching, you're hilarious and your rat is awesome and it was great watching Austin Powers with you and Ty. And I forgot the sister's name, but you are all great. Really appreciate it. Things to me on this trip are just so profound. Probably because I have all day to just think conceptually about society and the world and the planet and anything I want. But like, you know, the father, I never even caught his name. You know, went to bed early so that he could get up early, go to work as the sun is rising. He works uh, road work, like for the city, I believe. And he does all that work to support and feed his, he has four kids, I think, and a wife. Like, that's what human beings in the modern world, I guess you could say even beyond the modern world, for most of time, unless you were just like a hunter or gatherer. But then again, that's also work. You gotta leave the family. You have a family, you have kids, and then you leave, and you gotta wake up early, and you gotta go to work, because you need to provide for that family, or else they won't have a future. So this dad goes out every morning when it's freezing cold outside, because he has a family, and he works for them. And that is so beautiful and profound and also hard work and it just it just touches my soul even though it's the most like basic thing it's a dude going to work I wonder if I'm ever a dad which I really hope to be someday uh, I wonder if I will go to work or if my going to work will be waking up my baby with the vlog camera saying what do you want to do today I would love that and make it smoothies and acai bowls and sweet potato cakes Got a Wi-Fi connection here at this motel. Again, not enough to upload. It's at 2% in the last like 20 minutes, so I won't be able to upload vlogs fully, but I can get some work done. I got my tea going, and I'm watching Canadian news. How great. Thank you, Alenka. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you, Cassandra. I'm just reading your emails from people who are like, hey, I know you could use some love right now and support. Just want to let you know I'm watching the vlogs. Your adventures are so inspiring. So thank you, guys. I appreciate it. it makes me very happy. It makes me feel worthy. Whoa, I was just sitting here working, drinking my green tea with a bunch of sugar that I've been using all the time that refined sugar and all of a sudden I just got like a super intense nauseous stomach ache and like felt like I was gonna throw up but instead of throwing up I just went and started eating my orange because I hadn't eaten anything yet this morning except for that tea and I like immediately feel better but that was really scary what would I do in this situation if I get like super sick I guess I would probably like buy a motel room if I needed to Ooh, good thing I feel better. That was not fun. Okay, I feel a lot better. I'm gonna go over to the grocery store, buy my food for the next like two days. I don't think I'm gonna hit any resupply points for the next two nights and two and a half biking days. These are so lightweight and vegan. I read the ingredients. Of course, there's some processed stuff, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna get two packets. This is a double serving of oatmeal. I'm gonna put half of it in my thermos for uh, my first rest break. The amount of sugar I've put into this is legendary. Easily 10 packets, probably more. It's been a battle getting everything, all my food in my panniers. It's super, super tight and it's raining a little bit, but it's all good. I gotta get out on the road. It's like 10.30. Let's start this uh, wilderness exploration. Honestly, all my cameras might die. I have no idea what's about to happen, uh, but let's do it. Yeah. 
It's true that the clouds trap in some heat. It's definitely warmer. Oh, this is glorious. About 25 kilometers in for the day. It is raining, so I don't want to keep my camera out for too long. I'm going to eat some of my oatmeal that I saved and some sandwich and, you know, all the things that I eat. It's, there's not that much has changed. But I forgot to say, that banana that I ate this morning uh, in my oatmeal and I have an apple, that was given to me by my host. Uh, this morning when he was leaving for work, he was like, hey, you're going to need this and just gave me some fruits. Yes. At least it's not snowing. Can you imagine what this place is gonna be like in like a month? <laughs> Gary! Wow, it's a good apple. When I go to Washington, I eat lots of apples. All right, I forgot to tell you. I'm uh, entering into British Columbia, into BC today, except I'm like weaving down into BC, then back up into Yukon tomorrow. So I'm not like fully south, but I am technically in BC now. I'm on the border. This is awesome. I really do remember starting whatever it was 16, 17 days ago in Anchorage just being like, gosh, this is a lot different than California or anything I'm used to. And I guess I'm slowly making my way there. It's milestones that allow you to put into perspective the path and puzzle that you really are putting together because just the daily riding, it starts to kind of numb out and you just feel like you're going on a treadmill of a road, but nope, I'm actually getting somewhere. Not that it matters where I go. I mean, it's all about the present moment. That's all we have and that's why I enjoy it, but eh, still cool. One of the strangest parts about these lands is that there's nowhere to like sit. Even in this rest stop, the only possible place I could sit is like on the plank to step onto the trash can, which is dirty, and that's it, or the ground. When I want to take a break for a snack, I just have to lean my bicycle against myself, like, because there's a ditch and then there's the forest. It's strange, it's nothing I've ever experienced. There's always something to like lean your bike on when I've been bike touring, but not here. I'm also just waiting here, hoping that an RV pulls in to go to the bathroom and I can ask them for water. People are starting to ask me on Instagram, am I getting sick of peanut butter, jelly, and oatmeal? Genuinely, no. Genuinely. I just ate my oatmeal, which I ate this morning. All right, I'm gonna make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, eat it, I'd stop wasting battery. <laughs> I like this street art right here. Weird Blue Dog, NBD16. That's like a great album name and cover right there. Halfway through the day and it stopped raining. Oh yeah. You guys, this little weasel is crazy. I'm trying to get him off the road. And, and where are you from? Traveled a lot uh, for my job, but not uh, in the U.S. a little bit. In Miami, I've been in New York, but uh, not the West Coast, not Canada, not Alaska. So. And, and we're headed towards the same area of the world, South America, right? Maybe, maybe I'll see you there. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, but maybe I'm planning to go back then in two years. Yeah, you'll oh, come visit me in two years. Yeah. <laughs> motorcyclist gave me water also some other guys before at that rest stop remember when I was like hey I'm gonna wait around until someone gives me water that happened too and 
that's because pretty much every day in my life the universe provides and I manifest things. It's not a superpower, it's just once you know how to do it, you can do it. Headwind is really strong, so I'm moving slowly. It's already 545 and I have about 16 more kilometers for the day. I'm gonna make a quick sandwich. There's literally nowhere I can pull over. It's so weird. Like, it's just like this until the forest, but there's no stops, there's no posts, there's no advertisements. It's just, I also realize the lighting's much better from this direction. Oh well. This is my big lake camping destination, but I gotta figure out where to sleep. It's beautiful, it's so freaking beautiful. Hello, I finished up for the day. And I'm walking with my empty bottles to the creek. Today, tonight is the most like literally camping in the forest off the side of the road that I've done this whole trip. Usually I'm like down a dirt road um, and maybe I can tell someone's camp there. I'm literally in the middle of the road off to the side of the highway, but I was thinking about it and anyone doing my route, they kind of have to sleep around this area because you'd split up Watson Lake to Teslin in three riding days because it's 55 miles per day, which is like probably what most people average. So people probably have had to sleep around here. Here's my creek. Thank you, creek, for providing me with life and sustenance and hydration tonight. Getting the house all set up. And yeah, it is what I'm talking about. Boiled, oh, fogging up. Boiled stream water pasta. Oh my gosh, I'm at it again. This might be the best dinner combo. So you got the macaroni cooked, then these have just been my jam. Kind of sweet, barbecue-y, vegan beans. Kind of like baked beans, I guess. I love them. Now we're coming in with the fats. Check out what I picked up in White Horse. Not messing around anymore. We're all about nutrition, getting anything to those muscles that they need to perform optimally. So we got hemp seeds. Might as well use them up. Less weight. Starting to get a bit dark. This is amazing. Oh, heavenly. Well, I'm gonna eat this and stay in my tent for hopefully 11 hours, get up, keep going. And according to the locals, again, I will not hit one amenity. I didn't hit one today. Isn't that amazing? It's like I'm really backpacking just on a road, like a strip of asphalt in a wilderness with a bike. Cheers. Thank you to all the beautiful souls in the last four days of me sleeping inside that opened up their home for free, trusting a stranger and having me stay over. Megan, Sam, um, and then Dustin, and my host last night, Ty and, uh, Ty and Seth. Those are the kids. You all, you all are the best, making my life safe and easy and cozy. But it's been four nights inside. It's time for me to sleep out. This feels great. I'm never gonna forget this experience. I mean this specific leg of it. And seriously, my vlogs don't even close to do it justice. If you're intrigued by this land that I'm showing you in these vlogs, you must come here and experience it. Alaska and Yukon. It's, it will, it is so beyond what your expectations of it even are, it's a hundred times as grand. It's freaky. You gotta come. Much love, Dream Extreme.
Wish you could all be camping here with me though. That'd be nice.